Hey guys, what's going on? This is Little Jitero 2 from Those Remote Guys, and today I am bringing you guys a Dr. Dre Beats Studios unboxing and review. So let's get on with this. Uh, I do not have the box due to I've had them for a while, but this review will be honest because, you know, I've had them for a pretty long time. Right now you have a hard shell case compared to our older Beats unboxing with the Solos, which, you know, I'm not a fan of the box on that one, or the case I mean. But the hard shell is a lot better compared to the other one. Over here, let me see. There would be a booklet with the lady with the advertisements for more of the Dr. Dre beats. But right now you have two diff you have two different cords, just two different colors. And the thing I love about these cords is they don't really tangle up compared to like the Apple like earbuds. And see two different colors over there. Got a nice monster cloth because these these beats. One of the big problems is with the oils from your hands, it will like put finger marks onto the beats, which you know nobody wants. An adapter, and right here is the studios. Okay, see, like I mean, you see the, t the texture on the top, you see, easily fingerprint. And another negative about these headphones is they run on batteries. Yes, you know, I don't, not a fan of having batteries, but you can't do anything about it. But, so as you can see, you adjust them like this. They're easily adjustable like that. Just slide easily. Then to fold them in, you just hit in like that. Uh, personally, I would give the Comfort a 9 out of 10. I do enjoy wearing these headphones, but for me... I, it, it, they're really good headphones. I'm not gonna lie. The sound quality is perfect. I love the sound quality. Um, the only negative is that the, head, the headphones are batteries and the smudges from your fingers. But I would give these overall, I'd give these headphones a 9 out of 10 just because of those two mistakes. But not all the beats headphones run on batteries, just certain ones. But uh, I would highly suggest getting these earphones, um, or yeah, earphones, but if you don't want to spend the amount of money, which is uh, $299.99, I would suggest getting the Beats Solos because they're more portable compared to the Studios. But uh, what's it called? Uh, I would highly suggest these, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the review, and we'll see you guys next time.